Hey everyone, welcome back to my garden and today I wanted to update you with my indoor orange tree. This plant is going to be grown hydroponically for its, the rest of its life and it was started actually indoors in a little cocoa core, grown in a little double cup method. And I started this plant on April 5th and today is already May 7th. So it's been already already a month, basically. And this plant, as you see, is starting to grow finally. It's true leaves. It's really small right there. There's one right there and right underneath. There's a second one coming up. So it's gonna have two at once. And it's really quite small. If you see, basically, it's my finger's right underneath it. So it's nice and tiny. And if I show you basically underneath, I cut slits on the, on the sides and you could see the root system is starting to poke out, look at that right there. And at this stage is basically the time when I want to transplant from the double cup method since it's already outgrown this little cup and put it in a little hydroponic cracky system like you normally see me use in a little 3 inch net cup filled with just some cocoa core and some clay pebbles on the bottom and the cocoa core will sit in the middle and then I'll put some more clay pebbles up top just to support the base of the plant as you see look at this and it's grown it's actually getting quite firm and it thickens up as it goes up and split right there so it's looking nice and healthy really beautiful so what I'm gonna do is basically since I'm transplanting it I want to just put this down softly, I don't want to damage the root carefully and just give it a nice little water so when we're transplanting it's easy to maneuver and the root system is able to stay nice and compact and nice and together and cocoa core absorbs very quickly so basically that should be just about absorbed as you see right there just about empty so we can move that to the side and as always, the way that I do this is I put my fingers in between her, basically flip the cup up. So let's first actually take it out. Take that, flip it over. You want to give it a nice squeeze on the sides. Maybe even push the middle down. That really pushes it out. And carefully slide it out and you want to be very careful not to damage the root system so let's just put this down slowly and here we are so it's actually a little bit harder than that than i thought so i'm going to pause the video and come back in a moment There we go. It was a, lot, a little harder to do with one hand than I thought. The root was stuck to the cup and I didn't want to damage the root. And as you see, that's the little corner that was poking out. And look at how beautiful that root system looks right there. And nice and compact and grown very well and looks very healthy. And here's the bottom of the plant right there. So we'll take our, our net cup and you could begin to just break the cocoa core nice and slowly. You don't want to damage anything too hard, so nice and easy. And don't worry about making a mess. That's just the fun part about gardening. You will always clean up afterwards. So I'll just break that up. Nice and soft. You don't want it to be too rough. Keep it, you, Oh, look at that. You could actually see that's the seed that was actually supporting this plant right here that the plant grew out of so we're gonna make sure to keep that buried and I want to make sure to get that in there so I'm gonna pause the video and we'll come back as soon as I get that there down be right back okay we got that in there and as you see the seed is still poking out right there so what I'm gonna do is basically come in here and put some more, some more cocoa core right on top and I just wanted to pause the video for a moment because I didn't want to damage any of the root system. You want to be really careful with when you're transplanting your orange seedlings. 
and they don't like to be moved around too much and their roots don't like to be damaged and exposed for too long so you definitely want to be nice and careful and we'll just put that in there and we'll compact it and what I'm going to do is basically put a little bit extra this way when I put it when I, I when I put a, it all around I'm able to squeeze it down and it's going to be basically a nice little volcano shape I'll show you so put that all over now that that's in there use our hands and get push that in nice and firm now the good thing is with coco core it's when it's wet it stays nice and compact almost like wet sand would so as you see it's able to stay nice and straight and make sure the plant is in good position and we just give that a little push down not too hard but enough to make sure that there's contact between the cocoa core and the clay pebbles and you want to make sure that the plant is nice and straight and we'll just adjust the cocoa core a tiny bit there we go so now the plant is basically ready for its own glass jar system and ready for its own home so what I'm gonna do is basically grab a little glass jar that I have right here on the side and as always I use basically glass mason jars these are wide mouth mason jars that I paint black with uh, what is it with charcoal paint this way it doesn't allow any space for algae growth to come out and so right there just put that in there and we'll bring it to its new home and there we go got a little orange seedling planted in a little hydroponic cracky system for the rest of its life and we'll monitor its growth and i'll give you maybe monthly updates and we'll see how it grows and i'll keep you updated and if you have any questions as always leave them down below i'll do my best to answer everything and don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.